Welcome everybody to Mole Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. NAD Plus for aging using NR, NMN, Time Plus, and 5-Amino 1-MQ. NAD Plus will not make it through your GI tract, so other products and methods must be used. You can directly supplement NAD Plus using nasal sprays, skin patches, skin creams, IVs, and injections. I have not tried this approach, but I see reviews that claim that they are safe and that they work. This video will only cover capsules. The first two supplements are considered precursors because they add additional raw material to make additional NAD+. The first one I tried was True Niogen, which is considered one of the best brands for NR, nicotinamide riboside. Dr. Charles Brenner was the man who discovered NR and who has promoted the use of True Niogen. The company was great to work with. The NR came in an attractive three bottle package. I started with the smallest dose and took one capsule a day. Within three days, I began to develop mouth sores. I then switched to one capsule every other day to see if my body would adjust to the NR. Still no luck. The mouth sores continued. I finally gave up and gave the rest of the NR to a friend. He used the rest of the NR without any problems at all. No mouth sores. It would be unfair to rate the effectiveness of true niogen because it takes a longer period of time to build up in my system than I was able to give it. The other supplement, NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, is also considered a precursor because it adds additional raw material to make additional NAD+. This is the supplement that Dr. David Sinclair uses to raise NAD+, levels. I started with a small dose and gradually worked my way up to 500 milligrams per day for two months. The good news is that I did not notice any side effects. The bad news is that I did not notice any effects. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. No effects. I notice now that they want people to raise the dose to 1,000 milligrams per day. So maybe I wasn't taking a big enough dose, although it's quite expensive. The next product that I tried was Time Plus from a company called Nuchito. This product uses a different approach to raising NAD+. They supplement with nicotinamide, but then they use herbs to improve the various pathways that have declined over the years. They use a Japanese herb, Sophora japonica, to improve the NAMPT salvage pathway. They use EGCG from green tea to inhibit the NNMT pathway that limits NAD plus production. They also use apigenin from parsley leaf to reduce CD38 levels in the cell. CD38 degrades NAD plus plus the, some vitamins that I already take. Dr. Conlon is the genius behind this product. She has a lot of YouTube videos that explain what she does and what she wants to accomplish. I really wanted this product to work, using natural herbal products instead of drugs to improve or inhibit NAD plus pathways. But sad to say, another goose egg. No effect, good or bad. I should have noticed the piperine. Supplement makers include piperine in their product when the herbs are hard to absorb. To be fair, I only took Time Plus for a month and I bought an early version of the product that may now have an improved formula. But still, it should have worked at least a little bit. At this point, you are probably asking yourself, how did I know if these supplements worked? Did I test my NAD plus levels before and after I took the products? 
No is the short answer to that question. When I took them, I could not find a NAD plus test. There are NAD plus tests that are available now, but they cost $250 per test. So $500 to see if a supplement works. These prices will come down as the process is improved. So why am I so confident that these products didn't work? Because I found one that did work. 5-Amino-1-MQ. This is a small molecule that blocks the NNMT enzyme. This is the same enzyme that Time Plus was using EGCG from green tea to inhibit. Three days after taking 5-Amino-1-MQ, I could see a big change in my energy levels and my ability to recover quickly from a workout. I also began slowly to lose weight without cutting calories. And best of all, no side effects. Now for the bad news. $250 for a bottle of 60 50 milligram capsules. That's a lot. I have been taking this product for about one year and it still works, but I noticed that it does not work as well as it did when I started. I am no longer losing weight without dieting and my recovery time after workouts has gone back up a little. I probably could have avoided this if I cycled on and off instead of taking it every day, but maybe I can still do that. The future, I plan to keep using 5-Amino-1-MQ. I noticed that David Sinclair is talking about an improved version of NMN called MIB-626. This seems to be a much stronger version of NMN. The people at Modern Healthspan are talking about a liposomal version of NMN that did raise their NAD plus blood levels. And I plan on trying apigenin to reduce my CD38 levels, which inhibits NAD plus. I will put this video in a playlist that focuses on anti-aging drugs that will show up at the end of this video. It is hard sometimes to find playlists on YouTube, so be sure to click on it so you can find it in your history file. And join the nation. Click on the mole rat on the right to subscribe to this channel. I have no financial ties with any of the products mentioned in this video. And thanks for watching.